Let's talk about a different kind of fear, a primal unease that settles deep within the human psyche. It's not the fear of spiders or heights or public speaking, it's the kind that comes when everything you thought you knew, every fundamental assumption about the universe and our place within it is suddenly upended, challenged, and rendered uncertain. That's the feeling many astronomers are grappling with right now thanks to the revolutionary data pouring in from the James Webb Space Telescope. This incredible instrument is not just refining our understanding, it's rewriting the cosmic narrative. We aimed Webb at the universe's darkest corners, peering into the farthest reaches of space and time. We were expecting to confirm our neat theories, to fill in the blanks in our carefully constructed models of the cosmos. We anticipated seeing evidence that supported our existing understanding of how galaxies form and evolve. Instead it revealed a cosmos far stranger, more complex and more chaotic than we ever imagined. The universe Webb is showing us is wilder, more unpredictable and frankly more bewildering than anything we had prepared for. Webb is, in a very real sense, a time machine. It was built to glimpse the universe's first light to capture the faint glow emanating from the aftermath of the Big Bang, allowing us to witness the universe in its infancy. Our story was simple, elegant and seemingly complete. It began with darkness, a void punctuated only by the subtle fluctuations of energy, then tiny primitive galaxies began to coalesce. These small galaxies we believed would slowly merge and evolve over billions of years, eventually forming the grand spiral and elliptical galaxies we observe in the present-day universe. But Webb's data has shredded that script, revealing a plot twist that no one saw coming. The fear isn't about aliens lurking in the shadows or some unknown cosmic threat, it's the intellectual shock, the profound disorientation of realizing that our entire cosmic model, the framework upon which we've built our understanding of the universe, might be fundamentally wrong. Imagine building a model your whole life, dedicating your career to refining and perfecting it, only to finally see the real thing, the actual universe in its nascent form, and realize it's nothing, absolutely nothing, like you expected. Webb's images are exquisite, breathtakingly beautiful tapestries of light and color, but within that beauty lies a profound challenge because they show things that simply shouldn't exist, according to our current understanding. It's like finding a full-grown tree complete with rings and branches in a week-old forest. It defies logic, challenges our assumptions about growth and development. The implications are staggering, rippling outwards through the entire field of cosmology, forcing us to question the very foundations of cosmology, to reevaluate everything we thought we knew about the universe's origins and evolution. But this isn't failure, it's not a sign that we've been on the wrong track all along. It's science at its best, a testament to the power of observation and the courage to challenge our own preconceptions. Webb is a humility engine, a cosmic mirror reflecting back our own limitations, reminding us that the universe doesn't owe us answers, that it's not obligated to fit neatly into our preconceived boxes or conform to our expectations. Our job is to observe, to question relentlessly and to let go of cherished ideas no matter how elegant or deeply ingrained when the evidence demands it. Right now the evidence is screaming at us, a chorus of light and data echoing from 13 billion years ago. The story of the cosmos it turns out is far stranger, more intricate and more awe-inspiring than we ever dared to believe. And we're just beginning to scratch the surface to understand the profound depths of what we don't know. The universe is vast, mysterious and full of surprises, and the James Webb Space Telescope is giving us a front row seat to the greatest show in existence. High above our world beyond the reach of clouds and atmosphere floats a marvel of engineering and scientific ambition, a golden sentinel, poised to unlock the deepest secrets of the cosmos. So, what is this revolutionary machine? The James Webb Space Telescope, or JWST, is more than Hubble's successor. While Hubble gave us unprecedented views of our universe, JWST is designed to see even further and with greater clarity. It's not just an incremental improvement, it's a quantum leap in our ability to observe the cosmos. A technological marvel pushing the boundaries of what's possible. Launched in 2021, Webb sits a million miles from Earth at a special point in space called the L2 Lagrange point where it can maintain a stable orbit and a clear view of the distant universe. At the heart of this incredible machine is a giant, gold-coated mirror over 21 feet across. This mirror isn't just large, it's a masterpiece of precision engineering. That mirror collects more light than any before, gathering the faint whispers of light that have traveled billions of years across the cosmos. 
This allows Webb to see the faintest, most distant objects in the universe peering back in time to the earliest epochs of cosmic history. But size isn't everything. Webb must stay colder than any freezer on Earth, operating at cryogenic temperatures to detect infrared light without interference from its own heat. To achieve this incredible feat, it's shielded by a tennis court-sized sun shield, a multi-layered barrier that blocks out the heat and light from the sun, Earth, and moon. Its four main goals are to find the first galaxies that formed in the early universe, after the Big Bang. To watch their evolution over billions of years, tracing how they grew and changed into the galaxies we see today. To witness star and planet birth within swirling clouds of gas and dust, understanding the processes that create new worlds. And to study exoplanets, planets orbiting other stars, for signs of life, searching for the building blocks of life in their atmospheres. Webb's design lets it see what's been hidden from us until now, peering through cosmic dust and gas to reveal the secrets within. It's not just an upgrade, it's a new way of seeing the universe, a paradigm shift in our understanding of the cosmos. With its golden eye, Webb is rewriting the cosmic story, revealing new chapters in the history of the universe. It's our boldest attempt yet to answer some of the most fundamental questions about our existence. Where did we come from? What were the conditions like in the early universe that allowed for the formation of stars, galaxies, and eventually life? How did it all begin? What were the very first moments after the Big Bang like? And how did the universe evolve from a hot, dense plasma to the vast and complex cosmos we see today? Are we alone? Is there life beyond Earth? And if so, what might it look like? The answers may change everything we thought we knew about our place in the universe, and Webb is just getting started, with years of groundbreaking observations ahead. The universe is about to reveal its secrets, and Webb is our golden eye, leading the way. How does Webb see so far back in time peering into the universe's distant past? What allows it to capture light that has traveled for billions of years revealing the secrets of the early cosmos? Its superpower, the key to its time-traveling vision, is infrared vision. It's designed to see what our eyes cannot. Infrared is heat. Light our eyes can't see, a form of electromagnetic radiation with longer wavelengths than visible light. But the universe is absolutely full of it. It's radiating from almost every corner of space. As the universe expands, light from distant galaxies gets stretched, a phenomenon known as cosmological redshift. This redshifted light shifts towards the red end of the spectrum and eventually into the infrared. Webb's infrared eyes let it see these ancient red-shifted galaxies, galaxies whose light has been stretched across vast cosmic distances, making them virtually invisible to Hubble's optical instruments. But there's more. Infrared pierces cosmic dust, the clouds of gas and dust that obscure our view of many celestial objects. This allows Webb to reveal star and planet nurseries, stellar cradles hidden deep within these dusty clouds, completely invisible in visible light. Where Hubble saw fog, a hazy and indistinct view, Webb sees the birth of stars, the fiery ignition of new suns emerging from the darkness. Its giant mirror the largest ever sent into space collects faint ancient light gathering the whispers of the early universe, and its instruments cooled to near absolute zero, analyze it in exquisite detail, dissecting the light to reveal its composition and origin. This lets Webb do two things two groundbreaking feats of astronomical observation. It can look back to the dawn of time, witnessing the formation of the first galaxies. And it can peer through dust to witness new worlds forming, observing the swirling disks of gas and dust where planets are born. Webb isn't just taking pictures, it's not simply capturing pretty images. It's capturing the universe's hidden heat signature mapping the thermal landscape of the cosmos. It's revealing a cosmos we've never seen before, Unveiling a universe previously hidden from our sight, every image is a window into the invisible, a glimpse beyond what our eyes can perceive. And every discovery is a step closer to understanding our origins, piecing together the puzzle of how the universe came to be. The universe's secrets are finally coming into view, and Webb is leading the way in this incredible journey of discovery. Now for the twist that's shaking astronomy. In Webb's first deep field images, astronomers found galaxies that shouldn't exist, massive, bright and mature, just a few hundred million years after the Big Bang. Maisie's galaxy is the poster child, a well-formed galaxy in what should have been the universe's nursery. According to our models these galaxies should be tiny and chaotic, not fully grown. 
At first, scientists thought it was a mistake, maybe a miscalculation or a trick of the data, but more observations confirmed it. These galaxies are real, and they're as old and advanced as they appear. This discovery threatens to unravel decades of cosmic theory. It suggests galaxy formation was either much faster or fundamentally different than we thought. It's a ghost in the machine. A sign we're missing something big. If our model of the early universe is wrong, what else are we missing? Why is Maisie's galaxy such a shock? Because our models say galaxies need billions of years to grow. After the Big Bang, gravity slowly pulled matter together, forming small, messy proto-galaxies. Only after countless mergers could a large, organized galaxy emerge. Webb's discovery suggests galaxies formed much faster, or that our physics is incomplete. Maybe the first stars were massive and short-lived or dark matter behaved differently, or maybe the Big Bang model itself needs revision. These questions, once fringe, are now at the heart of cosmology. Let's break down the basics. The Big Bang wasn't an explosion in space, it was the birth of space and time, 13.8 billion years ago. Everything stars galaxies us came from that moment. Galaxies are vast collections of stars, gas, and dust, held together by gravity. Our Milky Way is just one of billions. Looking at distant galaxies is looking back in time light takes billions of years to reach us. That's why Webb is a time machine. Redshift is key. As the universe expands, light stretches to longer, redder wavelengths. The farther a galaxy, the more its light is redshifted. Measuring redshift tells us how far back we're seeing. And then there's dark matter, the invisible glue holding galaxies together. We can't see it, but its gravity shapes the cosmos. It's the skeleton of the universe and we're still trying to understand it. The discovery of mature early galaxies forces us to rethink the cosmic dawn, the era when the first stars and galaxies lit up the universe. We thought this was a slow, gentle process, with stars gradually clearing the cosmic fog, but Webb's findings suggest the dawn was sudden and explosive. Galaxies formed fast, stars blazed intensely, and the universe transformed in a cosmic instant. This changes our timeline for everything that followed, star formation, element creation, and the structure of the cosmos. Webb hasn't solved the mystery, it's made it deeper. The first chapter of the universe's story is being rewritten. So what's next? Webb's mission is just beginning. Scientists are now using its spectrographs to confirm the distances and compositions of these mysterious galaxies. Deeper surveys are planned. Webb will stare at tiny patches of sky for hundreds of hours, searching for even fainter, older galaxies. Are the cosmic toddlers hiding, or does the universe skip straight to adulthood? Webb will also study exoplanet atmospheres, searching for the chemical fingerprints of life. Every answer leads to more questions. How did galaxies form so fast? What is dark matter really doing? Are there habitable worlds out there? Webb isn't just finding answers. It's generating wonder. The boundaries of our knowledge are expanding, the universe is more mysterious than ever, and Webb is our guide into the unknown. Why does any of this matter? Because the story of the cosmos is our story. Every atom in our bodies was forged in ancient stars and galaxies born after the Big Bang. Webb's discoveries remind us what it means to be human, curious, driven, unafraid to question everything. When the universe surprises us, we don't shrink away. We lean in, build better theories and keep searching. These cosmic revelations give us perspective and humility. Against the vastness of space, our differences seem small. Webb is more than a telescope, it's a monument to our quest for knowledge. The greatest discoveries are still ahead. The story is still being written, and we're here, at the dawn of a new cosmic age, lucky enough to witness it unfold.